to show a coaching tactic through coach note you need the application of Apple TV this is the way of setting it up you need a TV with a HDMI port for the Apple TV plug the TV in and plug the HDMI into the back of the TV the HDMI will be attached to the Apple TV turn on the TV and Apple TV should boot up showing the Apple logo on the screen connect the Apple TV to an internet connection usually it will be a personal hotspot on someone's phone from your phone or your iPad, select mirroring and the content on the device should be shared on the TV. This is how to get Coach Note onto the TV. This is the framework for the Coach Note video that is done through Coach Note. Shows each player's positions, their codes, their starting positions, their end positions and their actions. This is the framework that goes along with the coach no video that allows the tactic to work correctly. Alright guys, so today we're going to go through a basketball tactic. It's an offensive tactic as for the last few games we haven't really been winning that many games and we're conceding a lot of points so we need to be obviously get more points ourselves. I'm just going to pass around the framework. We just have a look at that to see where your positions are. This is the coach all tactic up here in the telly, so we all have a look up. Um, Dave, you're going to be starting off as number one. Chloe, you're going to be number two. Andre, number three. Dean, number four. And Sarah, you're going to be number five, okay? So, who's number one? Me. Dave, who's number two? Me. Three? Me. Andre, who's number four? Dean. Who's number five? And then, Neve, we're going to put you in as number one as well, okay? Danielle, you're going to be number two. Shauna, four. Emer, five. And Jack, you're going number one as well, okay? So everyone just pay attention on where the, where your numbers are. And obviously we're going to get just the sub in and sub out, okay? So I'm just going to play the tactic for you now. Just have a look at it while it's going on. Okay, so that's the tactic there. So as I said, it's an offensive tactic. So what's going to happen is we go through step by step. So the ball's going to start off at number three, who's the ball carrier, okay? So who's number three again? Me, Andre. Okay, so what your role is, is from basically from the start, the cue is once you stop bouncing the ball, you're going to start passing the ball off to your left, okay? You can do this backwards as well, you can also do it to right, but for this session today we're going to do it to the left. So once you stop bouncing the ball, that's your cue to start, that's everyone's cue to start, okay? So as you can see, Andre passes off to number two, Right. Okay, yeah, so goes to number two here. Okay, so Chloe, once you get the ball there, number one, Dave, he's going to pop out and receive the ball, okay? Once Dave gets the ball, Sarah, number five, it's very important for you, you're going to be dropping down all the way down to Dave to set a screen for him, okay, once Dave passes the ball back up to number two. So your start or your role and your cue to go is when Dave's giving the ball back up to number two, you're going to come down here. Okay, see that? Number five, set the screen for Dave. Number five, hopefully your marker will follow you. He should follow you, especially if it's a man to man defense. Dave's going to run up to the top of the line, okay? So there he's free for the ball. What happens then is the ball's going to be passed across the top of the key. Again, to number three. Gets passed across to number four. And eventually you'll get to Dave. Try to do this as quick as we can, okay? When Dave has the ball, if he's still free, he can take the shot. He can step in and go for the layup himself. If not, and number five gets across to him quickly, he's obviously going to be marked, okay? So it's Dean's job, number four, to cut inside. The ball's going to be bounce past or chest past. Once he gets the ball in, he goes for the easy layup, okay? So we'll just bring it back to the start. So Andre, just from the beginning, what's your role? Um, when I stop bouncing the ball, pass it left and then move slightly left. Yep, yeah, that's it. And Chloe, what's your role? That's when you get the ball as number two. Yeah, so I'm moving out slightly, receiving the ball, then when Dave pops out, I'm going to pass it. Yeah, excellent, well done. Uh, Dave, what's your role then? I receive the ball from Chloe and then I pass it back to her and then Sarah comes across, sets the screen and I switch to the other. Exactly, that's perfect. Sarah, what's your job? Uh, once Dave passes back to Chloe, I set the screen uh, for his attack. Why do you think you set the screen? <coughs> exactly, so we can get free on the end line down here, okay? Uh, Dean, what's your job then? Uh, 
am going on a receipt ball of number three yeah. and give it to number five. Oh no, it'll be number one because they'll be there. Yes, you can give it to number four. And then once he gets, once you pass the ball off to Dave, what, what will you do then? Well, if he doesn't go for the layup, I go inside and I receive the ball. And what way will you do? Yeah. And then I do a layup and so on. That's exactly it. So I'm just going to pass around the tablet now, but this will go from yourselves. So we start off with Andre. Just a quick question again. What's your cue to go? Uh, when I stop down. When you stop down, yeah. So we'll just demonstrate what you're going to be doing there. Pass it out to Chloe. And then move to here. That's it. And then pass it out to Chloe there. So Chloe, what are you doing then? Pass that to Dave in the centre. Yeah, exactly. And then give it off to Dave there. So Dave, you play a mighty role in this tactic, so what are you going to do now? Pass the ball back to Chloe. Yeah. And then... Oh, hold on, just that might just up there for a second. Just give it off to Sarah there. So Sarah, you're next up in the tactic, so what's your role then? Set the screen for Dave. Exactly, and then just give it back to Dave there. <coughs> so then Dave, what sort of role are you going to do to get to the end line? Exactly, so then just give it back to Chloe. Chloe, you have the ball then, so then, how, or what will you do to make sure Dave gets the ball? What Probably can you do? No, what can you do when you have the ball? Pass the ball. Yeah, hey, quick as you can, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Andre? Pop it over to Dave. And then I'll pop it over to Dave. So once Dave has the ball then, Dave, <coughs> just take it there. If you're free, what are you going to do? Take the tree. Or? Or run in for a Yeah, exactly. And if your man comes across the market, what will you do then? I'll pass the ball inside where Yeah, where Dean should be coming in, taking the ball off of Dean. Yeah, I'll just come in there, take it, and then score with the ball. Yeah, that's it. So I'll just bring it back to the start then again, okay? Andre, if you're number three, right, and you stop bouncing the ball, and your man is really tight on top of you, what other options can you have instead of going to Chloe? Dean. Yeah. Um, Chloe, if you have the ball and obviously someone's really pressurising you, what options will you have? Pass back to you. Yeah, exactly. Or you could get it to Dave, or you can go for the layup yourself as well. Okay, so Dave, when you have the ball and you're really pressured, what can you do? I could go to the basket, or I could give it back out. Yeah, perfect. So, um, Sarah, if the... Screens are on, your man's marking you really well. What else could you do to get free? Pull out to the end line. You pull out to the end line, or you could cut inside this way. I'll just show you. You can cut inside here, and then Dave could obviously, if he has the ball here, so if he has the ball, he can just pop it inside you there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dean, if you're being pressurized with the ball, uh, what can you do with that one? I could give it back to Andre, I could give it down to Dave, or if I get a bit of space, I could go for the layout myself. Yeah, exactly. So why do you think this tactic would be effective when you're attacking in the last one again? Gives us a good look, 5% of the shot. Yeah. Anyone else? Many of us. Great screen. Yeah. Teamwork, <coughs> teamwork space. Especially if we can go, what we can do to just go when we're going through the warm-up. We'll do it as, as I said, with the cue to start. It's going to be when Andre bends the ball. Or another cue to be... Could, what, what could be another cue for us to start the tactic? Just call. Yeah, so we can call, we can call numbers, we can call colours, it doesn't matter. So what we do now is we'll just bring you out onto the court and we'll do a walkthrough, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
So as a reflective piece of my coach note video, the coach note tactic and my coaching itself, I felt as if I was giving clear and concise instruction to all the players. I was asking them many questions so they knew what to do as part of their role in the tactic. If I was to do it again, I'll have a microphone on me just so it would be a bit louder throughout the video 